Howdy, with this video, I wanna go over the, the final exam, make sure you know what I'm looking for. i just take a look at the rest of the schedule. It's looking pretty nice at this point, right? Um, I'm doing this from beautiful Sullivan Central High School. There's a bit of an echo in the room, so I'm sorry if you, you pick up on that. Um, but basically the schedule, nothing's due tonight. I'm doing this video on uh, Thursday the 19th. Uh, nothing's due for tonight. You should be working on your final exam. Uh, and that's due Monday night. I'm gonna go over that real quickly here. Uh, after that, we'll have response number 10. That'll just be a questionnaire about the class. You know, do these YouTube videos help? Uh, do I need to modify them in some, in some way? You know, we'll go over you know, different aspects of the class. Uh, but basically after that, you're waiting for me to grade your stuff and get it back, back to you, which uh, it'll take me a little bit, but I'll, you know, I'll get it done. And hopefully by uh, the, the third, I'll have all the grades up. If you have any questions or concerns about them, you'll, you'll have time to ask them. Uh, my grades aren't due to the following Monday, so I'll be plenty of time to do that. Uh, it's kind of a nice looking schedule. We've done all the hard work. You know, still got to do the final exam. Um, but that's certainly something you can you can do. Um, just look at the final exam. Uh, again, you're just using your ideas about the never-ending story, and if you want to use some of the literature we read this semester as well, uh, that's awesome. Uh, you have two prompts. Uh, you need to answer both of them. I'll go over the format here in just one second. Uh, keep in mind, I've seen the play. I've read the literature. Don't start falling into plot summary or telling me what I've already seen. I want to hear what you're thinking about things, right? Uh, so avoid plot summary. You know, make sure you proofread your responses, English counts. Uh, you have two prompts there. Uh, I'm not going to read these to you. You can read. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you can at this point. Um, but two, two discussion uh, questions uh, dealing with the never-ending story and what you might be seeing there. Um, one takes you to a T.S. Eliot essay. Uh, T.S. Eliot's a high modernist. Uh, if you go back thinking about Faulkner and the cubist kind of techniques, he, he was big into that with his poetry. Um, also a very interesting critic, um, when you read through the, his uh, excerpt, you know, you're going to realize he's, he could be a bit of a snot sometimes. Uh, that was, that's kind of common in the 1920s. The artist was this person who, who was this heart, you know, who brought truth to the people and whether they you know, were able to understand it or not. Um, but this essay is basically a, a Marie Lloyd's a dance hall performer who died and this is kind of his tribute to her. And also talking about how, you know, if we get used to looking at screens and very polished stuff all the time where we kind of lose the ability to interact uh, with live performances. So kind of interesting to see how that applies. You might apply that to uh, the never ending story. We're able to connect with the story and uh, you know, keep your focus throughout the play there. Um, yeah, but TSL, I kind of, kind of warn you, he's a bit a little snotty there. Um, but if you have questions about the prompts, be sure to let me know. Um, and the way it's going to work for each one, uh, you're going to give me your thesis statement on one sentence. Uh, then you're going to spend a paragraph on each, you know, two paragraphs on each for, for each response there, right? Uh, so each response will have that thesis statement. Uh, no introduction, no conclusion, no fluff, basically. Get to your point. Uh, then you're going to have two well-developed well -developed paragraphs. Uh, this one here is on the Breakfast Club. I don't, I don't know if you can even see that, but you don't really have to be able to see it. Um, you're going to quote, make sure you're quoting it accurately and properly. But you can see she has her thesis statement, two paragraphs. Um, that's how both of your responses should go. So you're going to give me a total of six paragraphs. Uh, two of them will only be the one sentence thesis statements, right? Uh, so again, make sure you're answering both questions uh, using this format. And the idea is kind of to get away from the fluff. I don't hear about, you know, since the dawn of history, uh, people have gone to plays. I, no, get to get to what you're going to say about the never-ending story or T.S. Eliot's essay, whatever the prompt's asking you to do, and then get your body paragraphs good and focused on what you have to say there. Uh, so you're going to do two of these. Uh, again, for a total of six paragraphs altogether. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about the format. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the class. Again, we're kind of you know, heading, heading around the final turn here. Um, also, if you have any questions about your graded essay number two, be sure to let me know. I've had a few already. Um, but that's pretty much it. I didn't want to do a long video here. Um, but we'll talk to you later. And again, let me know if you have any questions.